Hello and welcome to another segment of our Solution Year Series. Now in this segment we're going to talk about retaining walls. What you should know, what is the best retaining wall that you can use, and of course how much money you want to spend. Now, a retaining wall, it's something that it will retain some soil or some materials. So basically it needs to, it needs to be engineered and it needs to be very strong. Now, with our remedial work, we have been going around and we have been looking at all these walls that they are failing. And you know why? Because mostly they are made out of brick. So remember, it's very important, you never make a retaining wall out of brick. You can still use brick, build a retain, nice retaining wall behind and just dress it with brick. Otherwise, you have to have very strong, very thick foundation. Now, there's different types of walls. People are building walls with concrete blocks. They are hollow blocks, and they have to have massive footings, a lot of steel, right? And then you have to build one block at a time. It takes time, it's expensive. It probably costs you about $15 per block to buy and build, plus your concrete, plus your steel. There is a better system out now, which is called DINSO, much better than block work. DINSO is the way to go if you need that very high, very strong retaining wall that is actually over 1.5 meters, Dinsel is the way to go. You can see now the material on your pictures. It's a great material. We've done a lot of work with this material. It's a great material, very quick, very, very quick. Instead of just one piece of block at a time, you just pick up these nice big pieces of Dinsel, you just put them together and just put your concrete, put your steel inside and that's it. But, what is the best and the most cost-effective way to build a beautiful retaining wall that will last you forever? Because remember, every time you build something, you have to think that it has to last you a lifetime. This is how we work and this is how you should think. It shouldn't be there for five years, for 10 years, for 20 years. It should be there forever. And here we are on this side here in Linfield, uh, in uh, North Shore of Sydney. and. There's a new house going to be built in here. They were going to actually use the H block, hollow core concrete blocks, but we talked to them about the um, R system and they're very happy. They saved a lot of money, almost $40,000, and the job is gonna be done very, a lot quicker than the conventional system. Now, the system that I'm talking about is basically either timber slippers or concrete slippers, right? Very easy to install, very quick, and very cheap. Now, we do use a lot of concrete slippers. Why? Because they last forever. Timber is good, don't get me wrong. It's quicker even, but the problem is, still won't last your lifetime. If you want just a quick job to last you a few, you know, a decade or a few years, it's all right, use it. But it's not very strong, and it's gonna fail eventually, they're gonna rot. We've seen a lot of those that are actually rotting because they don't treat the ends with the eco -seal. So, concrete slippers, the best way to go about it. You don't need these massive concrete footings, you don't need all that steel. You don't need anything of that. It's so simple, so easy. What we have to do, we actually have to drill piers with our machine, which you can see now on your screens. Just drill the holes with an auger. Auger is a drill that goes in the machine, we call them augers. Yeah, yeah, augers. All right, so you drill the holes, and then what you do, you just concrete in posts. The posts are actually, we call them UC, universal beams, uh, columns, sorry. Yeah, UC is called universal columns, not UBs, universal beams, it's columns. <laughs> you got confused. Anyway, so did I. So basically they're 100 mil posts, they're shaped like a H, like that. We put them in, the secret is to make sure that they all level, and they concrete it right, and they're not leaning out, they're leaning back, they're leaning to the right, to the left. The secret is to make sure that they're 100% straight. And that's very difficult to do. But nothing is difficult for us, of course. The solution is. So, just drill the holes, we put this, the, the post in there, we put the concrete in, and then we just slip the slippers in. They actually spell them with S L double E P. I think they should be S-L-I-P. They don't slip. They slip into the, inside the H-Post. 
Anyway, so here we are now on this job in Linfield. We are digging the holes. You can see now the excavator working very hard. But also on this side here, we had to rem uh, uh, fix the levels in here because the side is like this. So we had to make it straight. What we do, we have to backfill a lot of this section. So what we do, we excavated all the good topsoil that we had in here. You can see it here. Look at this. This is going to be screened, but look at that. Beautiful topsoil. Now, we're giving that away for free. People come and pick it up. We deliver it. And people love it. Garden soil. Recycling. Remember? remember? Reuse and recycle. The best thing you can do. And this clay. This one. You can tell this is clay by the color. Or because when you actually squash it, it's like plasticine. Look at that. You can shape it. Okay. You can make anything you like with it. But it's a horrible thing to get rid of. So we're going to use the clay for backfilling and make sure that we get our levels right in the soil. We can actually just reuse it and give it to someone eat for their garden. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go and show you one that we prepared earlier. Okay, let's go and have a look. Okay, so here we are on the one that we prepared earlier. <laughs> yeah, like the food. Now this one here actually, it's a wall that we fixed here in Beverly Hills. Now, in this particular site here, they had a retainable that was made out of brick. Remember, brickwork is the worst thing you could do for retaining wall. If you look here, in this job in Girawe, they wanted brickwork. We built a slipper retaining wall behind it, otherwise the brick will collapse, like in this particular job here. The whole brickwork was actually cracked. It was dangerous. It was almost fall, ready to fall, and it could kill someone. So don't use brickwork. This is the best system, but hang on a sec. What did they... Oh, oh no. This is timber. This is timber. I don't believe it. No, it's not. It's a concrete slipper, but we make it look like timber. Look at that. It looks like Oregon. Look at that. Beautiful. Now, you can have the slippers in all different types. There's a lot, big variety. I mean, look at this wall that we constructed in Kingsford. It looks like sandstone. Yes, like sandstone. And it comes in different colors. You can have a gray color as well. Or you can have different types of sandstone. You can have the plain slipper like you see this job here we did in Menai. And there's different actually finishes for this. So this is the best way to go about doing a retaining wall. The cheapest, the most effective, and the quickest way to go about it. You only just need to drill the piers down to the ground. You just stick the post into the ground with concrete and then you just slip the slippers in. <laughs> slip the slippers, I like that. Now, ah, there's a catch though. It's not as easy as it sounds. In order to get this one here straight, straight, on one line, straight as an arrow, and also uh, vertically straight, it's very, very, very tricky. Because remember, you have to build this first, and then you have to slip the slippers in. These ones, they have to be absolutely perfect. And that's a trick. That's a difficult part of it. And this is where the solution is will come in with the answers because we know how to do that. As you can see, all our walls are straight. If you look at the other job that we're doing now in Linfield, you can see how straight the walls are. Unbelievable straight, like an arrow, yeah. So, give us a call and or email us on the email that you see now on your screens and we can come around and we can give you a price or we can just show you the different ways you can actually retain that dirt either this system here which is the best solution the most effective and uh, the most cost effective and the best looking or then we can go to dinsa walls if you need something stronger dinsa walls is a new system very quick very fast very <laughs> very nice ah you don't need waterproofing with the diesel system, but it's more expensive. This is your best way. So give us a call, and we'll see you on the next segment of the Solution News. Thank you for watching.